was a homecoming of sorts. Former U.S. Ambassador John Bolton returning to the United Nations to promote his new book, Surrender is Not an Option, Defending America at the United Nations and Abroad. But now the once stalwart defender of U.S. foreign policy has become one of the Bush administration's fiercest critics from the right. Whether the topic is Pakistan. I think second guessing uh, what's going on in Islamabad, uh, forcing elections. Uh, you wonder when we're finally going to learn our lesson. Or Iran. The United States has followed a policy for uh, over four years, essentially of deferring to European efforts to negotiate with Iran. So I think it's clear that that policy has failed. It was Bolton who led the push for Security Council sanctions chair. against Iran and North Korea. That is the second time in three Never months, one for mincing words, he now feels the U.S. has gone soft on what he considers its most pressing threat, nuclear proliferation. There's been a significant change in American foreign policy in the second Bush administration than there was in the first. And John Bolton is not in tune with that change. It's a much more moderate policy, much less confrontational policy, much less hostile to the United Nations policy. Journalists here at the United Nations could always count on John Bolton for a story. He never failed to stop here outside the Security Council and talk to the press with a snappy soundbite and a sharp tongue. Now his book is just as blunt as his diplomacy. The man who once said the UN would be better off without its top ten floors often didn't get the results he wanted, particularly in the area of UN reform. The people who worked with John Bolton, who wanted reform as much as he did, and I'm talking about countries that are extremely close to the United States, felt that John Bolton's leadership sank it. Bolton was replaced by a man known for his diplomatic touch, Zalme uh, Khalizad. It's uh, nice to be here. This is uh, when Congress my, refused uh, to confirm him for a second day. term. Okay, nobody commented on my French quotations. You know. So now he's free to push his own agenda which for the moment is selling books. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.